I'm Jack Scott. I farm cotton. I do conservation reserve program grass planting. I do a little beekeeping. And from what you can see back here is the turnips that I planted in the fall of 2018 with a lot of promise for next year's cotton crop. 2018 was a disaster to start with. It was so dry, the folks that had the plant regretted it because then they had a little puny cotton crop. My field was so dry, I didn't even want to bother with that. So I just listed up the ground, caught a little rain and planted turnips on it. Jack's uh, planting some different cover crops out here just to try to help hold the soil down. When we do actually get some rain to help try to hold the water on the soil where it falls rather than it running off. It also helps increase the organic matter back in the soil. Both of my farms are dry land, so I have to make do with what I've got. The turnips are making an excellent cover crop for me. I have people that ask permission to come out here and pick turnips so they can take them home and eat them, and then some that don't ask permission, but it doesn't matter, because with 120 acres, I don't even see where they've left a dent yet. Next year, if things work out, we'll get some rain on it, I'm gonna relist and put a new bed on top of these turnips and let the cotton grow down inside and just feast on the turnips. And come summertime when it gets hot again, that's where the turnips are gonna come in handy because turnips contain potassium. And potassium is what the cotton has to have to make it hold out, keep the squares and the blooms, everything still going. The first time I ever noticed that the cotton would really respond to the potassium out of turnips was probably around 1980 or so. And so I was just hoping for a crop failure to where I could pull this trick off and try it. 